Dan Lobby, Scott Patsko, Ellis Williams, day two of training camp in the books, and let's get right to it. Well, the receiving core looked a little different today. Odell Beckham did not practice. Rashard Higgins rolled his ankle, so he didn't practice today either. Uh, so, Scott, I think the thing that stood out to me is uh, apparently Kaderil Hodge is still in very good standing with this receiving core. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's funny. We've talked a lot about Anthony Schwartz and Rashard Higgins and Donovan Peoples-Jones, but, you know, Kaderil Hodge is still here, and he still does really good things. And, uh, you know, it's going to be like this during camp. There's going to be guys sitting out or guys hurt, and and guys are going to kind of rise and and, and gain your attention and Hodge is someone who I think might be easy to write off sometimes but he's going to be there in the end and we saw obviously he was the guy coming out of camp last year. Yeah I mean Ellis football is all about opportunity. Exactly and Scott's dead on here. Cordell Hodge is going to remain a presence in this offense. The only deep shot really taken today when Wright took Cordell Hodge it was about a you know, 35 yard corner little over Cordero's head, but look, the when they find that connection, those are the type of deep shots that Hodge allows them to hit. Okay, now we had a little bit of news as far as the green stickers concerned. So John Johnson spoke today, and he said that Anthony Walker, the middle linebacker, he's going to wear the green sticker. I mean, not a big surprise, but Kevin Stefanski had nice things to say about Anthony Walker uh, before practice today. He sure did. And... This team has options for guys who can wear that green sticker. we got to keep that in mind. So I think it says a lot that Walker gets this. And then I know we've talked about before, but just all the rave reviews coming out of Indy about Anthony Walker really tells you all that you need to know, that this young man is trusted, a veteran, and is getting sideline to sideline. He looked great today. Yeah, and the thing is, Scott, there's no lack for leadership. I mean, like Ellis said, there's plenty of guys that could wear it. It's just they're going with the Mike linebacker. Yeah, and then John Johnson III is kind of the guy who, who broke that news and he said you know last year yeah he did have it with the Rams it was kind of a special case their linebacker core was kind of you know had some issues with depth and experience and stuff like that so he ended up being the guy he's fine with Walker um, taking it and he really he made a point to, to mention Walker as the guy who really stood out to him uh, so it makes a lot of sense both those guys come from really good defenses last year uh, so you know this, this defense is not short on on experience for sure and oh boy, the fun stuff, kicking. We saw a little bit of a kicking competition today, and Cody Parkey struggled a little bit out there. Yeah, I think he was one for five, and then uh, Chase McLaughlin hit all five of his. They, it was hard to tell from where we were, but this is probably the 25 to 40 range, I guess, uh, on kicking. There was one doink and then just you know some misses, and it's one day, and it's one. It, it's very first field goal session of, of training camp but it's just kind of it's a reminder of like this cycle that the Browns have been in of trying to find consistency in the kicking game they haven't had anybody make it through two full seasons in a long time uh, so you know I don't know if, <laughs> if we're headed down that road again but today didn't start off promising. Ellis is this your first kicking competition with us? It is. It is. And I, I am all eyes and honestly ears because I was doing something else when they moved to the kicking section and I heard the thump <laughs> and I realized, uh oh, here we go. The kicking battle has started. I will say this. The sound was powerful. So the power's there. We just got to get the accuracy, right? All right. There you go. Day two of Browns training camp in the book. Uh, make sure you follow Cleveland.com slash Browns head there to get all of your Brown stories from the day and get signed up as a football insider.